On the phone, our panel, Marcy Wheeler, blogs as Empty Wheel at the Next Hurrah, Glenn Greenwald, author of most recently A Tragic Legacy, Dr. Ron Daniels, founder of the Institute of the Black World, 21st Century. Uh, welcome to you all. Uh, let's start with you, uh, Ron. Um, what is your sense of just how low the right wing, now that it's been clear that uh, it's Mitch McConnell's office, that, is, that had been putting out these smears about this 12-year-old kid who was supporting S-CHIP. Uh, just give me your sense of just how sad uh, that the right wing has now stooped in, in this. Well, it's, uh, it is sad. I mean, I mean it's, it's, it's beyond sad. And I think that the, the real deal here is that hopefully the American public sees that the extent to which the right wings will go to sort of protect um, its whole concept of, uh, of, you know, medicine for, I mean, uh, Medicare, I'm not Medicare, health care for profit, because at the end of the day, it seems that this is what they're attempting uh, to preserve, this whole argument about the federalization of health care and, and all of these things. Uh, but yes, it's gotten very, very, very nasty, and, but I think the Republicans have really, really overstepped on this one, and there's some indication that there's some panic that uh, this S-chip vote is really going to cost them dearly in the polls uh, uh, come this November. Uh, Glenn Greenwald, uh, does this uh, does the fallout from this S chip thing, which seems to be from a political standpoint, just been devastating for the Republicans in many different ways, and hopefully, and it's looking like it's very possible that the the Democrats may actually be able to override this veto. Um, does does this bring into um, some form of clarity to you, at least part of the Democratic strategy? I'm not saying suggesting that perhaps this makes up for. Uh, they're weak. Perhaps it maybe suggests that this is where they put all their eggs. But um, what does it tell you about what the Democratic leadership is focusing on uh, at the moment? Well, I think you know the Democrats' best friend many, many times have has been the, the Republicans and the times that they let their mask down and really show the world what they are. I mean, if you look back at you know one of the things that really led to the unraveling of the second term of the Bush administration and the abandonment of a lot of people of the Republican Party, it was a similar incident with with Terry Schiavo when. Uh, they really thought that they were in the right and engaged in their, you know, lynch mob mentality and, and, and really turned a lot of people off with just how extreme and excessive they were. And I think that's the same thing here. And you see a lot of Republicans worried about it. I mean, amazingly, the Wall Street Journal op-ed or editorialists actually condemned what they called the, the Internet mob, the conservative Internet mob, for, for their behavior here. I think Republicans are really scared, and, and there are issues that the Democrats do have on their side, um, usually ones that they think don't relate to war or executive power or oversight, but certainly domestic policy. Uh, the vast majority of the country is, is in favor of uh, this, this health care program, and, and I think the Republicans have given them a, a great weapon with, with their behavior here.